I was really curious what the biggest challenge was in portraying these two twin sisters that, you know, you also make them feel very distinctly their own characters. What was the challenge in that? Um, I mean, for me, you know, the cha- the biggest challenge was probably just the technical aspect of playing twins and the amount of work that went into it. I mean, we would work on one scene for the entire day. It was just a very drawn out process, you know, because you have to switch and change hair and makeup halfway through the day. Um, but as far as like making them their own separate people, I mean, that's always been my favorite part of the job is making backgrounds and, and histories for these characters and living through them. You know, the original film was very celebrated for its ch- chase sequences. Uh, <laughs> how were the more action oriented uh, sequences here to film? They were so much fun. They're some of my favorite. Um, and they and as as our series goes on too, there's a whole lot more of them as well. But I mean, they're always fun. But I obviously I've been a huge horror fan, horror fan my whole life. So those are like always the iconic scenes. I can't wait and like look forward to doing every time. When it comes to that original film, you know, is that something you saw growing up? Is that a were you a fan before you got involved with this project? Yeah, I was a huge fan growing up. Um, all of those slasher films from like the '90s, like. Uh, scream but like i know what you did last summer it was just so iconic so to be able to be a part of it was just super cool yeah and this being a series gives time you know for the characters to really be fleshed out and developed what aspects of lennon did you really find you know the most rewarding to play you know lennon the best part about playing her is she's just kind of the type of girl who like always feels like she's on top of the world so and honestly, whenever I was playing Lynn, I was just always in a really good mood every day at work because we could just have fun and like party and just be easy. And then sometimes Allison, you know, she's a little bit moodier, a little darker. Some of the days start to drag a little bit. Um, but I mean, there's there's parts of them that I feel very close to personally, but then there's also parts of them that I could not be more completely opposite from them. You know, it's shot so gorgeously in Hawaii. How was it filming out there? Why it was beautiful. I think it's, it might be one of my top favorite places I think I've ever filmed. Um, but to be there at such a special time to, um, you know, we were filming during the pandemic. So we were all grateful to have a job and to be in such a beautiful place. So I, I mean, I want to go back. It's so great. And then, you know, your character and Brianne's character have such a, you know, complicated relationship. Can you speak to that kind of bond they have? Yeah. I mean, I think, they're two girls who have been together since they were little and they love each other as best friends. They love each other a little more. And I think that both of them are still trying to figure out exactly what that means as they get older. Um, But in a way, I just think they're really life partners. Um, And so that relationship, at least for us, was very important to make sure that came across on screen. There's so much freedom with streaming, you know, there's nudity, there's so much gore. How, How fun is it being in a project that, you know, it just gives you so much freedom and you don't have to really worry about, oh, this isn't PG, like to just go all out. Fantastic. I mean, the amount of times I think we dropped the F-bomb, which I don't know how many they kept in, but just knowing that like you can and it'll be okay. Um, it just, it just makes filming a lot of fun because we can have the freedom on set to kind of just have fun and do what we want and just know in the editing room, they'll fix up whatever they need to fix up. 